Hey guys, welcome back. So a couple weeks ago, we gave some money to the Arbor Day Foundation. And as a result, they were gonna send us some plants. And they sent us five flowering trees, five Norway spruces, and two hydrangeas. And we weren't really certain of how we were gonna get it or what the size of it was. They said they were gonna be small. I didn't anticipate this. This is all 12 of those plants, all combined together in some sort of a gel to keep everything hydrated. Now, we, did, we got them a couple of days back and it's been sitting in the garage, as the directions say, to let them sit dormant for a while. So uh, you can wait for a little while before you plant them. Now, they wanted us to plant it directly in the ground. I have no idea where they're gonna go yet, especially when you're talking things about these Norway spruces and we got five of them and they potentially could grow up to 180 feet tall. I mean, there's some planning that has to go here. And I guess I wasn't certain whether or not we were gonna get them or not, but we did get them, and now we gotta figure out where they're gonna go. So in the meantime, over winter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant them into a couple pots. I've got 12 different pots here. We're gonna put them into some dirt. We're gonna make some soil. Uh, we're gonna put them in there, and we're gonna let them sit over winter. I might bring them in and put them into the grow room under some grow lights just over winter and then we'll move them outside and as things start to warm up we will find a place to put them and put them in the ground. So I will describe everything as we go uh, and I'll describe each one of these things individually. But here's what we got. We got two eastern red buds, two sergeant crab apples one washington excuse me one sergeant crab apple one washington hawthorn one white flowering dogwood five norway spruces and two pg hydrangeas so i'll describe each one of those i'll try to leave a little image of what they look like when they start to become full grown um, but we're going to get these into some pots and we're going to get them inside for the time being so let's get going we're gonna start off by making our soil. We're gonna start off with two parts topsoil, and then we're gonna add one part peat moss, and then half a part of a manure compost, and about a quarter part of a perlite, and then mix it all up vigorously. Once everything's mixed, we're gonna add it to our 12 pots. First up is a PG hydrangea. It is a very large hydrangea bush or shrub that gets to be about 10 to 20 feet tall with canopy of about 10 to 20 feet. It is fast growing, growing about 25 inches a year. It needs full sun or partial shade. It has these beautiful white flowers that maintain throughout the year. Now you can keep it as a shrub or you can trim it into a tree at a very young age by trimming off some of the lower branches and giving it one long stem that will make the base of its trunk. Not sure exactly where we're gonna be put these, but I'm pretty excited about having it. First up for our flowering trees is gonna be the Eastern Red Bud. It gets to be about 20 to 30 feet tall with a 25 to 35 foot uh, canopy spread. It grows about 13 to 24 inches per year and needs full to partial sun. And it produces these rosy pink spring flowers and the foliage turns a reddish purplish color during the summer and then gives way to a yellow in the fall and it produces these shiny red and brown two to three inch seed pods that remain on the tree throughout winter, giving it a year round appeal. Next up is the Sergeant Crab Apple. We already have two crab apple trees on the property right now. This will just add to the family. It produces a white flower cluster. Uh, it's very fragrant, attracting lots of pollinators. It produces a half inch red berry that will persist into winter, attracting lots of birds, giving them lots of food, also making a terrible mess, but we're used to that already. And uh, it gets to be about six to 10 feet tall with a canopy of six to 12 feet. Uh, it's very slow growing, less than 12 inches per year, so this one's gonna take a lot of time to reach maturity. Moving on, we've got our Washington Hawthorn. It gets to be about 20 to 30 feet tall and about 25 foot canopy. It has a medium 
speed growth of 13 inches to 24 inches per year needs full sun. Now it produces white flowers in spring and then is followed by these quarter inch red berries that stay on through winter that produce and uh, attract a lot of wildlife. Now the cool part is these thorny stems produce this reddish purple leaf that change to dark green in summer and then in fall they change to a vibrant color of orange, scarlet, and purple. So I'm pretty excited about this color variation. Last up for our flowering trees is the white flowering dogwood. It gets to be about 20 to 25 feet tall with a 25 foot canopy spread. Medium growth at 13 to 24 inches per year. It has these snowy white uh, spring petal brackets is what they call them. They give way to a half inch red fruit that ripens in fall and just hangs on into winter providing a lot of food for wildlife. Now in summer the leaves are dark green and they give way to a red purple in the fall. Last up are our five Norway spruces. Now the paperwork I received says a little bit different than what I had done for my research and it says I could get between 40 and 60 feet tall and a canopy from 25 to 30 feet and they're medium to fast growing uh, which means they can grow from 13 to 24 inches per year or 25 inches or more a year. So it really, we're, we're really not quite sure what's going to happen here but we know that they don't produce their cones until age 30, so these are a long runner. These are going to be around for a while. It's going to take a long time for them to reach maturity. But we can place them about 6 to 13 feet apart to create a windbreak, a little barrier. We already have some barriers like that in the yard, and I'm thinking we might add to those barriers and place these someplace along the edge of the property. What are they? Now that they're all in there, we'll keep them hydrated. They've got the light. It gets a little cooler in that room. I'm gonna get some seed warmers for all of the other seeds when I start planting those. Uh, but that'll be a completely different video as well as completely redoing that room. I'm gonna gut it, put new shelves in there, and get some more grow lights and hopefully uh, expand my operation, we'll call it. Um, everything seems like it's gonna work well. We'll see how they do over winter. We'll get them out as soon as spring comes, as soon as the ground is thawed, we'll get those into the ground. Hopefully by then we'll have some sort of idea of where we want to put everything. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the Arbor Day Foundation. We'll see you soon.